Hey guys, Chevy here. Okay, today I've got for you a van lock padlock. Uh, it is a pump or push lock. It has seven pins. And here is the key. It is a non-guttable lock, but um, I want to show you a pic of it today. Uh, pretty cool American company uh, van lock. It's just really nice blue uh, padlock. It's uh, ranked as brown belt. Uh, quite the difficult pick just because I'm not too familiar with uh, pump or push locks. I've never actually picked a tubular. So so this was, was a neat pick. Um, there's a difficulty in trying to tension this. There's nowhere to really tension because it's the pins itself, the key that tensions it. Uh, so I had to make a couple a couple tensioners and I used some ejector pin uh, basically and I made a seven mil gap in these ugly blocks of uh, olive wood. But these seven mil gaps will tension every other pin. So I can tension in between the pins and that's how I tension. It takes two turns. It's a 90 degree turn basically to open the lock. So I'm gonna pick this on camera and I'll have to pick it twice. I was gonna edit out uh, to show you just me picking it once, but what happens once you pick it once is one of the pins will come into this this gap here, so it'll be picked already. So there'll only need to be six picked on the, the second time. So it gets a bit easier as you go. The the real problem with it is is picking it back closed. Uh, unless you modify this key, there's a groove that's kind of underneath that you can't see where this key follows. So so you have to pick it open and closed. Um, but I will show you this, uh, picking it closed. These are the tensioners I used. I know they're rough and ugly. I could make some nicer ones, but I just wanted to see if it would work and it did. To push the pins in, you can use an ejector pin because these pins are a mil and a half, uh, just over a mil and a half, so it works perfect. But I find when something's binding, this kind of slips, so I maybe need to cut it smaller and I could use this end to push in. So I just ended up using my monkey paw. I mean, I use my monkey paw for everything, so why not this? And yeah, I'll just push the pins in. So I'll take you to the video. Uh, it's about an eight minute pick, so it's like three or four minutes per per rotation on it. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. It's non-guttable, as I was mentioning. So I can't show you the insides, but it's it's highly tapered, and there are serrations on some of the key pins and drivers normally on these on these van locks. So I believe that's what's in here. But okay, I'll take you to that video. <clears throat> a 
There we go. So, just move it. Okay, one. So I picked it one way. So now this pin no longer counts for anything. So I'll pick it one more time. <sighs> it's got to get picked one more time. Let's try and figure out where to pick this. It's been a while since I picked this. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now we've got it turned open. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's uh, it's unguttable, unfortunately. 
Uh, and now I have to pick it closed because I haven't taken off these things. So it's got to be picked closed. I can't get back in there. But it's open. Picked it uh, twice there. Okay. Thank you very much.